Whether you're new to Active911 or you've got multiple map markers that need to be added into the system, doing it one at a time can be tedious work. Today, I'll go over all the steps that you'll need to follow in order to get those map markers uploaded into our system all at once. Let's get started. When uploading your map data points to our system, you've got a couple different options available to you. First, if you have a Google Earth file, you can upload this file directly to Active911 using the bulk upload option you'll see later in this video. Second, if you want to upload this as a CSV, you'll need to download the template in our description down below. Using this template, format your data into the four column listings as seen in the sheet. When filling in the form, you'll need to enter in the marker name, latitude, and longitude. You'll also be able to add in a description, but you can leave this blank if you don't have one right now. Now before we save, we need to delete the first row that shows name, latitude, longitude, and description. Next, save the files as CSV. To do this in Excel, select Save As. Now select Other Formats, select CSV, and finally, you'll need to acknowledge the warnings that pop up, and then the file will be saved. Now that you have a compatible document, let's get it uploaded. Go to Active911.com and click Login. Once you are logged in, click the Map Data tab. Next, click the Bulk Upload button. Now you can select the file you just created, and before we click Upload, let's select the icons such as a hydrant. After you've clicked Upload, you will see a preview of the data you are uploading. If everything is looking good, we can now click Save. And that's the fastest way to get your map data points quickly entered into Active Alerts mapping. For more information about mapping and map markers, head over to active911.com resources where you can find more guides for Active Alert, Active Team, and Active Comms. Thanks for watching.